Hey there Scorpio, welcome to Healing Guys Tarot. This is going to be your February 2021 love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Let's see what the energy is for you guys. I just did Cancer. Oof, that was some fiery energy there. If you don't know anybody that's a Cancer, check out that reading. Uh, soap opera. <laughs> Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Okay. So we got the star, we got the hermit. So the star is Aquarius, the hermit is uh, Virgo. And we have the eight of earth. Okay, very good. So we have happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. And that's Archangel Jophiel. And then we have Archangel Radziel. And it says, spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. And the Ada Earth is skilled work is rewarded. Learning all that there is to know about a topic. Going back to school. Wow, is this ever wonderful here, huh? So long-term plans. On the you're on the right path. They're saying here, and you're discovering. I, a lot of you guys might be becoming spiritual teachers with this energy like this because you're really connected with the star. And then we have this um, spend time in meditation. You feel like you have to go within. And, and the, the hermit is also, it's like spiritual teaching, but the hermit is also learning. And then you have this card here saying skill work is rewarded, learning all you need to know about a topic, going back to school. So I would say both these cards are actually, you know, saying the same thing about learning something, going within and learning. Wow. So there's something new going on with you guys. Very nice. Okay, and the bottom of the deck we have Ten of Water, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trust, trustworthy relationship. Yeah, this is like the Ten of Cups. This is getting your dreams come true here. Being very, very happy. How nice is that? Okay. Let's see what else we have going on for Scorpio for February. I love reading. Let's see, what do we have going on for Scorpio? We're starting off with Nine of Wands. So you've been through the battle and you're staking your claim now. So whatever you've been through, I think you had a real rough time lately with something. And you came out all right. You're you know, you it feels to me I'm feeling like you're the only one that survived this, whatever this was. There's like if there was getting cuts at your workplace, you, they kept you, but they let everybody else go. Something here that feels like, or maybe you were in competition for a position. And of course, you know, you're the only one that got the position. A new job. And you're staking your claim. You're claiming this. Wow. And crossing you, we have the King of Pentacles. This is bringing you a lot of money. So this is going to put you in a very good position. If you're not in a leadership role yet, this new job, this whatever this is that you came into that you beat everyone else out, it is going to put you in a leadership position. Um, it also could be that some of you might have a, a earth sign coming in, which is um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But I'm feeling this is really your energy. But we'll see. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. You're working really hard on something. You were taking the time and paying attention to every little detail. Putting all the finishing touches. Not letting anything, If you whatever you're working on, you weren't going to let it go until you knew it was correct. And this also could be a situation for some of you. That there was a situation that you were involved in that you weren't going to let it go. If someone was saying, yeah, it's fine, let it go, let it go, it's, it's fine. No. You kept at it. And this could also be, I know this is supposed to be for like money or, or job or something like that, but I'm feeling for someone, it was a situation. Something, someone would say, ah, I just don't, don't know where it went. And it wasn't something that was actually right. I think you uncovered something. I'm feeling that there's something that you looked at real closely and say, no, they're cheating the company or maybe that's why you got this leader position too. They're doing something they're not supposed to do. 
and you uncovered it and so the person saying, nah, nah, let it go, let it go. And they probably won the person that got they got rid of because you uncovered a secret here. You uncovered something that was being done that wasn't supposed to be done. Okay. Then we have, yeah, the devil. So yeah, something in the past. Someone was doing something that wasn't right. Someone was, um, it could have been stealing. It, it also could be someone that's, um, they're just, the energy is just not, it's not right. It feels very sneaky. Yeah, I think this is for this person that had um, uncovered something here. That this happened in the recent past. That you were able to get yourself. You could have even left a job because of the energy of the people around you and what they were doing. But you got away from that energy. And then we have temperance. Yeah, things even out now. Things are balancing out for you guys. You're able to make things work in your favor. Then Tao, yeah, something came, something's coming crashing down. Something's in the near future. It could be something revealed that um, is going to be shocking to people or shocking to you. But whatever this happens, it's still going to come out for the best. So when this, whenever this tower moment hits, whether it's a loss of job, a loss of, of something, something else is going to come to replace it. That's better. So this, the universe is stepping in for your benefit here. Or it could just be shocking news. You find out something that you can't believe um, someone's doing or something happened or something like that. And then we have the Queen of Cups here. Now this could be your energy, your cup. So a water sign. So it could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Or it could be someone coming towards you. Very loving, nurturing, giving. And this comes to Four of Wands. So this means marriage commitment. It could also be a steady job too, I'm feeling, because of this energy I'm feeling right here. But whatever it is, it brings something. This is Whatever you did here, you're bringing in a lot of happiness here. You're bringing in something, a uh, commitment because of it. Maybe a new home, a marriage, new life. And then we have the nine pen. Yeah, you're doing really quite well for yourself. You're doing fine by yourself. You really don't need anybody else. Your your finances are good. Your your career is doing well. You're quite stable. You're happy. And then we have the five of pentacles. We'll have to clarify why the five of pentacles. Someone feeling left out. I don't know if it's your energy or someone else feels that they were left out. It could be what you get in this position. Other people feel, hey, we're left out in the cold because of that. So I don't know, it, but it could be your energy too. It could be that you feel that you were left out. But there, with this card, there's always you have the option to go inside. You don't have to stay out in the cold. And then here we have the high priestess underneath. So this is Pisces energy. It's also um something being revealed, secrets being revealed. So I do feel like something is being revealed in this um reading. Okay, let's clarify. What is going on here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Let's clarify this Nine of Wands for Scorpio. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Ah, the High Priestess. I think, um, I'm feeling that you're very intuitive at this time. Your psychic energies are really strong. And things are being revealed. You're coming to your power. Your intuition is right on. Okay, why is the King of Pentacles here? Why is the King of Pentacles here? King of Wands. Alright, so this could be that you're actually have both these energies. You're something that you're very passionate about, very creative, and you're also very stable and reliable. And your finances are doing well. You have a lot of passion. Could be for this job. Okay, let's see. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Yeah. Whatever you're working on and you took the time to do, it, things are going to balance out. You are going to get paid well for this. You are going to get a bonus or a new job, a, a new position, a new company. 
somehow you are going to get compensated for whatever you did here. Okay. And why is the devil here? Why is the devil here for Scorpio? Why is the devil here for Scorpio? The Emperor. Yeah, this energy is brought you right into the Emperor. Now, the devil could be Capricorn, and the Emperor is Aries energy. But I feel this is, whatever this is that you had to deal with in the past brought you into your power. Because you were able to defeat it. You, you defeated the devil. Oh, look, that popped right off. Okay. Put that there. And uh, I was trying to get out of the card and it came out. And I think I'm going to grab another one. Okay, Temperance is bringing you in money. There's going to be an offer. Something's coming in. Money, a new business, a new career. Something brand new is coming in and it's going to be substantial for you. Okay, let me get one more card on this though with the Temperance and the Ace of Pentacles. You've been waiting for this. You, you knew you put a lot of work into something. You had an idea, you had a plan, you put it into action. Now you're waiting for your results. Okay, why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? There's more in the tower, please. Ooh. So whatever this ending is, it's bringing you to here. You got the four of wands again. This could be a soulmate connection. The 11-11. This is, this is really nice. Okay. And why do we have the Queen of Cups here? So this Queen of Cups can be... Well, we have the cups, we have the wands. Any one of these could be, um, so with the King of Pentacles, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And the wands, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, and Pisces here twice. We have Aries, and then we have um, Scorpio again, Cancer, Pisces, and then Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So any one of these people could be your person coming in or maybe even with them right now and you want to get married okay please clarify the queen of cups please this person was very nurturing to you I think it's um or you were to them you brought someone you brought them out of the cold so you swear how we have both the two five of pentacles one in each deck someone feeling left out in the cold but I think with your love, are they missing this energy? This is what this could be. This person, it could be someone from the past, and they miss this energy. They maybe broke up with them, left them, and they're feeling out and cold. But they miss that loving energy from you. Okay, and why do we have the Four of Wands? Why do we have the Four of Wands here? All right, oop. So someone's coming in with an offer. Someone might be proposing. Someone's coming in with an offer. They want to start something. They want to start something new. They want a new beginning. Could be just asking you out, but also could be an offer for marriage. If those are you involved already with someone. And why do we have the Nine of Pentacles here? Why do we have the Nine of Pentacles? Ooh. Someone's coming to speak their truth. This is a brand new beginning. This might be the beginning of your... Um, finances taking off of doing really well and being um your career doing well and finances doing well and that you're doing or it could be a new offer coming in and different ways for different people and why do we have the five of pentacles why is the five of pentacles here because someone was being sneaky someone was left out because someone did something that wasn't right I don't know. But see, there's competition here too. Okay, you know what? I get another deck on this. I'm gonna do this deck. Okay, why do we have the five of pentacles with the um seven of swords for the outcome? Why do we have the five of pentacles, seven of swords for the outcome? Yeah, wow. Someone made the wrong decision. Someone did something that wasn't right and they were left out. They were caught. Whatever they did, they were caught. Look at that. Five of Pentacles again in this deck. Someone really was left out. 
was abandoned in this situation. Okay, um, let me get another card on this. Why do we have the Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, plus the Two of Swords? Because that's usually making a decision. Choice two different ways to go. Why is this in the outcome? Four of Cups. Someone felt like that something was taken from them. And so then, then they did something that they shouldn't have done to try to get things back. And they were caught. And they were left out in the cold here now. And we have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. You're doing well, though. You're, you're in just good. I don't know who someone's trying to steal something from you or trying to do something. But they got caught. They felt like something was right for theirs, but I don't think it was. Okay, so we have this um fighting over here. Competition. Struggling. That could be all this stuff that was coming in from the very beginning. Okay. Now, there's supposed to be a love reading, but maybe all this has to be cleared up before you can get to this love. So there's something that was standing in the way because you didn't want to bring your person. If there's someone new, you didn't want to bring them into this mess. So this had to be cleared out of your life so your life could be turning on a different track here. I need to send, let's see, I will just, okay, let's just see. What else do we have for Scorpio? We'll do it that way. What else do we have here for Scorpio? Could be a new business coming in. Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're being very creative. You're going within. Yeah, you're you're definitely going within. What else do we have? You're creating something new for yourself. Four of Swords. Yeah, someone's really thinking about you. They dream about you. They they think about you a lot. They want to offer their love. Okay, I just, I'm still confused about those cards. Okay. I will take another couple cards on that from the Nell deck in a second. Let's see. Let me know a card on this person here. Nangasaurus, yeah. They think, they're on their mind a lot. They're, they have a lot of anxiety over this. This this might have been something from the past that, broke, that you broke up with. Left out in the cold. And Eight of Pentacles. They're working hard on trying to figure out how to get back to you. I need to... Let me do this. I want another card on these. this outcome over here. Tell me what, in the, in the end, what is the outcome going to be? After all this is done, all this re deception and everything is found out, what is going to be the final outcome? What is the final outcome for Scorpio, please? Princess of Wands. So there's going to be someone new coming in, it seems like. Someone that um, is very passionate. It could be someone from the past, too, though. That's very passionate, wants a new beginning. And they might have been more of a player. If there's somebody from the past. Get another card in this, please. Tell me more about this Princess of Wands. Tell me more about this Princess of Wands, please. Three of Swords, yes, some, wow, someone's heart was broken. Maybe they were cheating on you or you were cheating on them and someone was left out. And so there's a lot of energy here that I'm sorry to say Scorpio, but it seemed like there's a lot of, there's a mess over here that has to be straightened out before this. Because you're getting these cards coming in. You got a lot of happiness coming in, but this has to be taken care of first. So someone wants to offer their cup, but this mess has to be taken care of. It might be someone from your past that's interfering with someone new coming in. And they're trying to mess you up. They're doing things, they're, they're maybe lying or, or saying things that are not true to try to get this, you not to go with this person. Let me have the star on bottom here. So yeah, so there's someone, someone sees you as their wish fulfillment here. Okay, you know what? Put these over here. 
this over here some way. And I want to ask some questions about this new person that's interested in you. What are their thoughts on you? How did, what, what are they thinking? What is this new person thinking? Ooh. Okay, so this could be... There's a transformation here. There's an ending to something for a new beginning. So it might be this mess. Once this ends, there's going to be a new beginning. Okay, that's their thoughts. What are their feelings towards you? Whoa, these cards are popping. Okay. They feel you have many choices. That's a concern for them. And what action are they going to take? What action are they going to take? Whoop. That's too many cards. Oh, well, I'll take them. Okay, so they're, they're doing well off, too. Queen of Pentacles. And they're trying to... They feel a spiritual connection with you. They know there's there's secrets to be revealed here. There's something hidden. But they're they're working on their finances because you have the nine of pentacles, but this person also has the nine of pentacles. So they're also doing well. So this with these pentacles here, this could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I'm sorry, I don't want to make these readings long, but they're just see competition. There's a lot of competition here. This person's fighting for you. They're probably... Someone's talking bad about you, I think. And this person is not listening to it. They know. They, they know because they're very into it. They know the truth. They're not listening to this gossip. And they know you have choices. Wow. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna. I don't want to keep this going too long here for you guys. So I'm gonna throw a rom romance angels on this to close this off. But yeah, this person wants to come in, but this person they have to set out this thing in the past with people interfering. And then you can have this. This looks like a soulmate connection. Okay, please give us some information for this person here. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all with this person so that sounds good and love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive on the bottom we have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents okay that doesn't have this is not going to resonate with everyone this last one but it will resonate with some wow scorpio yeah so there's some kind of interference but you will end up in the end it's going to work out okay it's just because this person's hanging in there and there's like with this gossiping and all this bad stuff coming in their spirit divine is interfering i mean they're not interfering they're you're divinely protected they're they're helping you wow okay scorpio i hope you like your reading <laughs> please let me know if it resonates with you guys these these cards have become real soap boppers for february i don't know <laughs> please like share and subscribe hope to see you again real soon thank you